So we were at 908 yesterday. We're down to 748. What's the quality of the $748 billion where there is bipartisan support? Well, the thing that would uh, that would stick out to me the most to here is that if you actually did divorce these two and then try and run them side by side, what you're allowing people to do is vote for the underlying thing that everyone agrees on. And then if the thing that is a little bit contentious happens to fall, you still have something going on. So it's a sort of procedural way uh, to split the baby, as it were. Um, and, and kind of not give Democrats and Republicans all of the things that they wanted, um, but get rid of some of the other stuff. And hopefully uh, the argument goes this gives you a little bit of room uh, for runway and actually getting something here. Now, it's, it's pretty clear that there are a lot of uh, disappointed voices with where these stimulus talks have have wound up, but in Washington, sometimes you take that as progress because every, if everyone's a little bit upset but would rather have it, that's usually a bill uh, that gets enacted. And so you're you're looking at, I would say here, some of the more positive signs that we've seen around stimulus in a long time. Certainly, a lot of Wall Street analysts have said for months that this was imminent, and all of those uh, predictions have crashed and burned so far. But this one, you're actually starting to see some green shoots here. Uh, there are some positive signs that this week is critical.